Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from St. Brendan Church. A hundred thousand welcomes is the traditional Gaelic welcome that echoes the spirit of our patron saint, whose Benedictine rule would have mandated that all guests must be treated as Christ. Here at St. Brendan, we take this mission very seriously. We are a welcoming parish and we seek to treat all people as we would treat Christ himself. Many local civic leaders, including the mayor of Ormond Beach, have recognized our parish for the vitality and leadership we bring to the community. We are now standing on the eve of our 50th anniversary, and this is the perfect time to look back with gratitude and to celebrate all that we have accomplished as a parish. It is also the perfect time to move forward, building on the faith of those who have brought us to this point in history. The Alive in Christ campaign provides us with the opportunity to take that next important step. The campaign is designed to meet all the growing challenges faced by the church in Central Florida. Through Alive in Christ, we will help meet the needs of our larger church family while preparing our own parish for the future. In preparation for our 50-year jubilee, the Lord is calling us to grow, to lead, and to share our living faith by addressing our most critical parish needs. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we intend to improve our parish facilities, expand our parking, and assist our parish school. St. Brendan's is often referred to as a destination parish where we grow the body of Christ by offering a peaceful haven for our visitors and residents. Our liturgies and our ministries are considered second to none but our facilities are in need of significant improvements. We plan to replace our social hall roof and install new energy efficient heating and air conditioning systems throughout our building. As we lead more families to Christ, it is essential that we expand our parking area. Inadequate parking presents a safety hazard with cars frequently parked in emergency lanes. By relocating our tennis courts to a location behind the school, we can convert the remaining space into a new parking area. Operating costs continue to rise, but we remain committed to the needs of our parish school. It is indeed the hope of our future. We want to share the gift of a Catholic education by establishing an endowment to help fund the operating costs St. Brendan School. Our goal for Alive in Christ is just over $1.5 million. If we're blessed to raise this amount, the majority of proceeds will be used to fund our parish priorities. In addition, we will contribute a portion of the proceeds to help fund the new projects that emerged from our diocesan synod. I realize that our goal is daunting, especially in these difficult times. But I also know that our parish is keenly aware of the need to assist others. We know that everything we have is a gift from our loving God who trusts each and every one of us to use these gifts for the good of his kingdom. Our efforts will ensure that St. Brendan remains a lasting source from which our commitment to service can flow. It is now my pleasure to introduce Bishop Wensky who will share with us his vision for our Alive in Christ campaign.